Can I steal that microphone? There we go, my Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. You know how to work a crowd. That's awesome. Please take a seat. I was going to come on as Mumra, but I figured. Oh, well, oh, nobody you wants that. to hear Mumra. Do we want to hear Mumra? You, you've got Ancient to. spirits of evil, transform this decayed form into Mumra, the ever living. Wow. I think we should just quit there. I'm do That's <laughs> me done now. That's like childhood come back on. <gasps> Mumra. How are we doing though? How's nice it going? Nice to meet you. I've never met you. I'm before. CJ. Hi How are CJ. You Where are you from? I'm from Newcastle. 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 Yeah, I get to learn a new dialect today then. Let me see. Should I teach you some Geordie? Yeah. So it's called Geordie. So it's yeah. the most what everyone knows what the most common Geordie phrase. What is the most common Geordie phrase? Why I man. Why I man. Why I man. Why I man. And you could say I'm gunning down the tune. I'm gunning down the tune. Is Which that means naughty? What am I saying? You've just said you're going to go out into town. Ah, oh, great. I'm gulling down the two. I'm going to have a bevy. I'm going to have a bevy. Which is, I'm going to have a beer. So I'm gunning down the tune for a bevy. Why, I man? <laughs> I'm gunning down the tune for a bevy. Hi, I man. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Best Geordie accent so far, well, I've got to say. Better I make mine. a living imitating people, so. You don't want to imitate me. Number. Trust me. <laughs> I could try. That'd be kind of freaky. That'd be kind of freaky. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going to give you all my money. I'm going to give you all. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth a shot, though. But uh, no, thank you for joining us here on the live stage. Oh, really yeah, no, it's you. great to be here. Uh, thanks for having me here at MCM. Yeah, well, I accept that. Have me, you. aren't we? Ah. Yeah. So what I like to do with people I've never met before, I like to get to know you. Yes. Uh, and I feel like already I know you a bit too well now. I feel like we're Geordie buddies. And in between, we can do some terrible impersonations. Yeah, uh, y you can train me because ev every time I try to do impressions, it comes off as a Geordie. So I tried to do Spider Man's like, why, yeah, man, web go. It, it just doesn't work. One of my favorites is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, well, let's hear it. Well, does anybody have a favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? <laughs> what was it you say? <laughs> you did not say anything. Terminator, uh, there's so many. Uh, Kindergarten Cop, come on. Everyone loves watching that on ITV. It's probably on now on ITV too, to be fair. <laughs> My favorite line from Terminator is, I, I, I. Are you sure that isn't in Terminator 2, Predator, Kindergarten? Yeah, pretty much every movie uh, Arnold's ever done. What, what's the other one? Get to the chopper. To the chopper. He does it Benny, well. screw you. He ripped somebody's arms off. See you at the party. Stab somebody in the back. Stick around. <laughs> Ice to see you. That's good. Was that, oh, that wasn't too bad, that. That was good. I think it's because I've got a sore throat today. So it's a bit deeper. Yeah, probably from that doing a lot of talking, right? Yeah, you can't shut me up if you haven't <laughs> realized. So let's play a game to get to know you, and then we'll do a few more impressions. Okay, great. Over. So... I like to ask little either or questions, and let's see which one you want to go for. So this could be make or break, whether we're friends. 18.7. Yes. <laughs> That's how many millions he's going to give us. <laughs> so, are you a dog or a cat person? Dog. Dog. I Any love dog I've got fan? two big dogs. What are they called? I like cats too, but I have uh, German Shepherds. Mm. Oh, they're the quite big yeah, ones, Yeah, big ones. They? Yeah, my, my daughter loves them. It's my daughter, Natasha. Come on up, Natasha. Hi. Say hello. Come on. Oh, you've got to. You've, have you got a unicorn? Come on up and say on. a quick hi. Oh, oh, don't hurt yourself, please. <laughs> say hello. Come you can join us. Sit on the comfy quick, sofa. Say a quick hello. Hello, come on. All right. Can you do any impressions? Yeah. Can good. you do an impression of an embarrassed little girl? What does daddy, <laughs> what does daddy sound like? What do I say? No. I, okay. bet, I bet you I can do an impression of your dad. Go tidy your room. <laughs> what is that rubbish you are watching on TV? <laughs> That's what I'm like at home. Ah, you're sweet. How old are you? She's going to be six. Six? Uh, August 30th. Yeah. August 30th. Well, do you know what? Should we sing happy birthday early? Yeah. Yeah? Are you ready? I'm not going to sing. I'm terrible. Are you ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tasha. There we go. 
Happy birthday to you. you. Hip hip. Okay, love you. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. And the best part is, guys, you've got two weeks to send presents, so get that sorted. <laughs> what are you Thanks so for that. That was cute? Nice. I know. I wish sweet. my daughter was still that cute, to be honest. She's now hit that teenage diva stage. She's 11. She's already hit that stage. The start early these days. Oh, no. You've, all, you've got that all the cum, the strops of, I hate you. you. <laughs> That's how she sounds. <laughs> Just, that d voice is gone. But uh, no, so two dogs, German Shepherds. Yeah, two dogs. Uh, we live in Cali uh, Los Angeles, um, up in the hills by Universal. And uh, I'm a lucky man, a beautiful wife here. Well, uh, you've got to come up and say hi now as well. Actually, yeah. We've got to embarrass you. <coughs> This is my wife. Her professional name is Michael Ann Young, and you might know her from uh, South Park. She was a succubus. <laughs> she got to sing with Chef. Um, and uh, yeah. Woo! Whoa. We met doing uh, voiceover work, and that's, wow. that's how we met. So we've been married for 13 years now. Wow, congratulations. Uh, yeah. When's your birthday? March nah, sorry, that, that's way too far away. No happy birthday for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, are you a Netflix or a YouTube person? Uh, Netflix. Do you have Netflix currently? Yes. What do you watch? What do you like to watch? Oh my gosh, what have we been watching? Um, we watched the Ozarks, we watched... Uh, Shell, what else? Shell, on, on Netflix, what have we been watching? My I know. Peppa Pig, is that on? <laughs> yeah, I love Peppa Pig. She, my daughter loves Netflix. She watches everything on there. Yeah, the Ozarks. Mm. I know, we've seen like... Uh, Don't lie, you do the thing that I do. When my daughter goes to bed, Nick Jr. has been left on, and you're like, oh, Victorious is on. Yeah. And you end up watching it for two hours, and you think, what's going on? Yeah. Especially Peppa Pig. <laughs> yeah. Dinosaur. Rawr. Peppa Pig is really a great show. You know, reminds me of growing up in England. I grew up here um, in Surrey, in Weybridge. I was born in Weybridge. And, uh, you know, BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, Ribena, uh, I don't know, uh, Jack and Ori, uh, Bungle, oh, Rainbow. Rainbow. I remember Rainbow. And Can Ori. you do Zippy, though? Zippy. Hello. Hello, Bungle. Does that sound anything like that, it? That was good. Oh, Zippy. Doesn't he go, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Like that. Blue Peter. I mean, I grew up with all that stuff, so. Yeah, I love those shows. And I miss the food, food, too. I miss the steak and kidney pie. Like, people don't like it now, but I... Steak and kidney pies and English Well, one of bread. my questions was going to be cake or pie, but I think you may have just answered that question. Well, you know what? Um, cream buns, actually, which was really... I haven't found a cream bun on my trip yet. I don't know what happened to them. It used to be all over the place. You know what I'm talking about? They're like um, sugar donuts with fresh cream and a dollop of jam. Where can I get those? Cream buns. Tesco. 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 That's where I should have gone, is Tesco. There we go, there we go. so now we're going to get that sorted. Well, who fancies going to Tesco quickly for us? Anybody? <laughs> yeah. It's worth a shot, you never know. Right, Are you? do you prefer ninjas or pirates? You look like you've got an answer already. I think my daughter likes ninjas, right? Are you a Lego Ninjago fan? She likes ninja, yeah, she's getting into Ninjago. We went to Legoland last year. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> Ninja. But she wants to train as a ninja, right? She's taking um, Tong Su Do right now. So, mm. well, yeah. What does that involve? I've never heard of that before. Uh, do you want to demonstrate? This is like, duh, duh, wah, wah. We've embarrassed roo, her enough roo. today. It's basically like a form of judo or, you know, martial arts. I feel like we're connecting here because we're both embarrassing dads that like the embarrassed daughters. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. She's going to hate you by the end. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a Star Wars or a Star Trek person? Oh, God. You know, I love Star Wars, and I've been lucky to work on a bunch of the latest films, so that's, that's great. But uh, I'm originally a Star Trek fan, because growing up in England, um, if I was really good, I'd get to stay up and watch Star Trek. And if I was really bad, I would sneak to the top of the stairs and watch it anyway. <laughs> and uh, one of my greatest geek outs was... Um, yeah, I was on a show called Babylon 5 back in the day. Anybody see that? Yeah. It was a dream of mine to uh, be on a science fiction show, uh, you know, growing up with Star Trek. And I ended up starting to do conventions back in 1999. And I did a convention in, uh, in Germany. Um, and I was on stage with uh, Nimoy and Shatner and Gates McFadden, all these people. And at the end of the show, they... Uh, 
we had like an eight course meal in this giant castle in Bavaria and I sat opposite Leonard Nimoy and his wife and it was like, wow, I can't believe how lucky I am. Yeah, that was the sort of the start of my career. So Star Trek, huge fan, yeah. Well, the reason why I mentioned that question is because recently you did some voice acting for Rogue One. That's right, yeah, I worked on Rogue One, I worked on, uh, what was it before? I worked on Solo, mm -hmm. actually Han Solo, I'm the first voice you hear. Uh, I think it's like, there he is. <laughs> Um, and then I, I voiced a bunch of, a lot of aliens um, for, uh, for the Star Wars. When you do those kind of additional voices, d are you given much direction at all? Or is it kind of like, well, we need this kind of character and you can kind of decide on the voice? No, it's a very sort of creative, openly creative process where um, uh, they trust us to come up with, the, you know, the dialect mm. for some of the things. Some of them are already written, you know, there's Bibles written on... Uh, uh, how to speak the language, but a lot of the new a newer aliens in in uh, some of these latest films, you just see it on the screen. They're like, okay, uh, what would that guy sound like? <laughs> and then you just go, you know. So maybe a future Star Wars might hear a Geordie alien. Yeah, might hear a Geordie alien. Yeah. So would that be? Is this in the background, like uh, Finn and Ray's just there? No, he has Wyoming in the cantina. Three, hot to shit out, Sheffield Steel. Well, that's Sheffield. That's not. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Geordie. Mush sorry, yeah. Yeah, right. you're sure. <laughs> mushy peas. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> hey up! Hey up! Now, from a personal standpoint, you are. Well, you've just recently done from a game that I'm a big fan of, and that's Kingdom Hearts Three. Oh, is that out now? It's out in January. Oh, and have they announced anything? Or? They they've announced which character. Oh, looks, they did. Looks old. Okay, so now I can finally. They have announced it. It is on your IMDb and everything like that. Okay, so yes, I'm playing Locksword in Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> yep. Ah. Who loves that game? This Heartless. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's uh, that's been a fun one. I'm assuming you're not allowed to say very much about it at all. No, I didn't even know that I could announce it. It's <laughs> actually uh, several uh, high-profile projects that I'm working on right now that, you know, we signed 50 NDAs, so uh, we can't talk about it. Um, one of them is uh, an on. I'll be on on camera um, series in the fall. Uh, the other one is a uh, big film, maybe a sequel, um, and then there's three or four big game titles that I can't talk about. I know. It's, uh, I know, it's it, it's tough because obviously I, I'm always after spoilers and want to know. Yeah. And for you, it must be thinking. Am I allowed to say yeah, that? I get stuff on Twitter every day about you know, lots of different things. Like um, uh, I've got a, there's a lot of fans out there for uh, No More Heroes, Travis Touchdown, um, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so, um, with Andy, have you ever slipped up by accident before, like doing interviews, and you've said something you maybe shouldn't have? Not really. I'm, I've I think I've been pretty good about it. Um, sometimes I'll say something like I said something back in February, working on three huge projects, and you know feeling blessed to be in this business, and uh, and then it comes out, it's like, he says he's going to be in the sequel, it says right here, this is what it, no, it doesn't. And just misquoted you. Yeah, so, no, you've got to be very careful, because you got to respect how uh, the companies want to market their games. I mean, back in the day, it was all about talking about it and hyping it, and people liked it. Nowadays, they want to wait, you know, every, I think the world is so accessible, it's becoming smaller and smaller, so they want some type of, you know, sort of aloofness for for their project, so, okay. Do you play any of the games that you voice, so for example, Assassin's Creed or yeah, Kingdom Hearts? I, I, you know, I, I play less games now because, uh, you know, life is really busy in LA, but I, you know, I love playing, you know, I, I played uh, some Metal Gear Solid Five. I basically got to 3%, you know, I just found myself wandering around the desert looking for wax in barracks. <laughs> snake, snake! You know, anybody see uh, Metal Gear? Anybody play Metal Gear? Okay, yeah. Roy Campbell. They played me like a damn fiddle. Uh, <coughs> any Team Fortress 2 fans? <laughs> Lovely. It's time to practice medicine. Has anyone got any fan questions or requests and I can pop out? Why don't I come and see you guys right now and give you guys an opportunity? Because I'm sure you're sick of my voice by now. Just right. <laughs> Here we go. So what is your <coughs> question? Um, well, first of all, nice to meet you, Robin. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I was wondering, in terms of an acting standpoint, how did you go about the progression of Kazuhiro Miller from 
Peace Walker to um, Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain. Well, you know, so, yeah. what was that like? Losing a couple of limbs will, you know, help you. And uh. Well, how was it sort of going from like almost a happy-go-lucky kind of yeah. alpha kind of character to basically someone that drives the whole story that uh, essentially carries the player's emotions for rage and revenge and all of that stuff? Yeah, it was a, a lot darker character, um, although, you know, we learned about his past in uh, Peace Walker, but I had a lot of fun just sort of diving into the emotions of uh, Miller, and I got into a lot of good feedback from some of the scenes where I sort of felt like I was pushing the limit, but you know, it was all based in the reality of uh, what's happening to to Miller and Snake. And so, you know, as an actor, it was a really juicy uh, role to to bite into, lots of layers. Um, so, yeah, I was just so happy to be working on that game. You know, it's so few like AAA titles that have that huge open world now. Um, a lot of people are going to iPad and you know different smaller games. So to be a part of a another big Kojima, um, you know, production was good. Awesome. Would you go back and do more if the opportunity arose? Are, are you trying to like? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. I'm <laughs> trying. I warned you. I would. No, I certainly would. I certainly would. I love you know. I love working with uh, him and um, and also like like working with Suda Fifty One because he's just you know cool dudes. Awesome. Any other questions? Oh, I'll just run around here. Oh, I love your cat ears. Here I go. Hey, hi. <laughs> anime, um, anime or superheroes and why? Oh, hi. Anime, What's anime or superheroes and why? Mm. Well, you know, I liked anime. I worked on Steam Boy, uh, Otomo's, uh, you know, big production, and he sort of the, you know, did uh, created Akira. So, and that's the only anime I worked on, um, but I think, you know, he's kind of like the greatest up there. Uh, it's tough, though, because superheroes, you know, we all love superheroes. Uh, I've always been a big fan of uh, Batman. I've come really close to playing him a bunch of times, but been lucky to play uh, superheroes in both DC and Marvel. Um, so it's, I don't know, I'd say both. And, uh, you know, I've loved a lot of the, the anime uh, productions that I've seen, so... Both. I mean, do you have a favorite? I'd say I'm more with Batman and Batman. Superheroes. Where is she? Yeah, that's great. Would that be your Batman voice? Do you see uh, him in practice thinking, I want to be Batman tonight? I'm just going to talk as Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. I don't know. You know, he's fo you're Batman. Okay. I oh, know he's got a question. Do you have a question? I, I yeah, okay. How are. What? How was it working with the other voice actors on uh, TF2? Like, you know what? I never really got a chance. I know uh, Nolan came in, and I think he did Engineer. But the TF2 experience, uh, unfortunately, we never worked with any of the other actors. It's always solo in the studio. And there was a lot of, um, you know, when, we, uh, when I first created the character of the medic, it was a lot of sort of improv. I think some of the things came out like, Oktoberfest! I have no idea what I'm saying was came out of like, I really had no idea what I was saying. Uh, and maybe I wish I would have everything that the medic says is yelling. So every time I go in, you can't say, and except for, it's time to practice medicine. You can go deeper with him, but for the most part, he's always yelling, Achmedes! You know, just screaming at the top of your lungs. Um, but, you know, I've always said that would be really fun to have a convention with just Team Fortress uh, players. You know, people still love the game. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Who wants that? Yeah. Okay, well, write in MCM and tell them, you know, then they'll bring us out or go down to London or something. But that would be, I think that would be huge and a lot of fun. We could, like, create a whole setup of the in-game, you know, with set pieces and stuff and have, like, a live version and I'll come out there with a medic and dress up. And that would be fun. We could do a photo shoot. Let's do it. That right. sounds Let fun. MCM know you want to do that, because I think they're the only ones that can really pull it off in a good way, you know? But thanks for your question. Awesome. Any more questions? Anyone there? Oh, I'll run back across here. Keeps us fit, I'm not going to lie. Your question, please. What's your favorite creature noise to make? Creature noise. Oh, gosh. I, you know, I had a lot of fun creating uh, some of the creatures for Gears of War. Anybody play that? Yeah. So that was fun. Uh, I created Cantus, and then, of course, <laughs> That 
that was fun working on the strain. Got to do lots of stuff, fun stuff there. And then, of course, now, this is the age of orcs. Where there's lots of orcs all over the world in every bloody game. So I do a lot of orc work. Um, and then there's higher ones, too, but I don't know whether... I actually prefer the, the, the deeper creature voices. Um, so I don't know, lots of them. But sometimes it's be careful what you wish for because you end up booking a job and then you've got 30 hours of, you know, screaming like an orc or a pterodactyl or a chicken or something. Um, I want to hear the chicken impression. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had a lot of fun voicing Doomsday for uh, Batman vs. Superman. Uh, I voiced Incubus in Suicide Squad. I also had a great scene with Will Smith. I don't know, anybody see Su Suicide Squad? Yeah. Yeah, so I was Angelo, you know, the guy who was uh, trying to get him to be the hitman. You remember that scene? No, no money, no honey. Look it up on YouTube. And he actually, it sounds a little bit like Harvey Dent. I don't know why, but... <laughs> Do you find that um, going from like different voice styles, it has an effect on your throat at all? Yeah, I mean, over the years it has. Uh, my voice is a little stressed from just, you know, screaming and doing stuff yesterday. But I would say, uh, you know, normally when I get back to the States, when I'm my regular working schedule, my, my voice is certainly it's like a lot deeper, uh, maybe like f five to six notes deeper than it was 10 years ago from doing the other creatures. And, and depending on what I'm working on, um, I also, uh, my wife, my wife's a great singer, but I love to sing and uh, play piano. So I, when I'm working really hard, I lose a lot of my upper register. So that's kind of a bummer, but I'm making money. So, you know. Should I be complaint. mean and ask him to sing a little for us? No, not right now because my voice is thrashed. <laughs> but uh, I'd be happy to come back and do a show the next time I see you all. Uh, ooh, ooh, something Wouldn't else to, to write back. In. Team Forces, the medic sings. <laughs> <laughs> the medic sings standards of Frank Sinatra. <laughs> yeah, okay, we paid to weird. see that. Well, if you want pays now, I'll look after it. It was worth a shot. Any more questions? Come on, go oh. again. Give those people here. Hello, Waluigi. Um, since you've started in, in the voice acting industry, what would you say, like, has it changed or has it stayed the same or has it developed in any way? Well, it's changed a lot in that um, <coughs> I kind of came in on the ground floor of uh, performance capture. I was lucky to did the first test for uh, Uncharted series, which uh, I was fortunate to work on for 10 years. <coughs> and uh, performance capture has just, it, you know, the technology keeps advancing. So I was fortunate to come in on that ground level and sort of take the ride up uh, as uh, video games become more like movies. And I think that we're gonna see just more of that. It's, a, it's just gonna be a crossover where everybody's running around in mocap suits. Hopefully the future is uh, one of the most it's not frustrating, but it's as an actor, uh, the clothes that you're wearing and the shoes that you're wearing are very important to the character you're creating. So I'm hoping in the future we can get more away from the uh, the mocap suits and actually wear clothes. And they're starting to to do stuff like that now. So awesome! Right? Do we have any more questions? We've got some time for a few more. Okay. These are doing this on purpose, it's making me run back, back and forward. <laughs> uh, outside of the characters you've already voiced, are there any characters in pop culture that you'd really, really want to voice? Well, I've become so close to to Batman. Um, I, you know, obviously love to uh, to do that. But um, you know, I've worked on a lot of other great characters in that universe. So, you know, I if that happens one day, that would be great. <coughs> um, I don't know. Outside of that, I mean, I'm just very lucky to work on a fast array of. <coughs> projects that keeps me creatively fulfilled, you know? Awesome. Uh, question here from the dog. <laughs> oh. Oh, now, nah, uh, you're human. I thought you were. Okay, great. How did you find Babylon 5? The telepath storyline was quite engaging. Oh, yeah. I was so, uh, it, that was a dream come true for me. Like I said, it was the first, uh, it was the first television show I worked on, Babylon 5. Um, and I started off as Moron the Mimbari. It was actually, his name was Moran, but uh, I thought it was Moron. Um, and then from that, I ended up uh, coming back and playing Byron. It was a great arc. Uh, another sort of, uh, you know, character who wears his heart on his sleeve, get to dive into the emotions. Um, it's kind of weird, though, that we, uh, you know, we had no food and no money, but we all wore Versace, and our hair was, you know, nicely coiffed. 
Uh, but that was, yeah, that was such a great experience, and I made so many friends on that show. Uh, unfortunately, some of them, um, you know, have passed, but, um, you know, w what a great, great show to start off with, and just, it, it kind of says something about, you know, your dreams and what you want to do, and putting it out there, because I really believe in, uh, I really believe in that, that you, you can do whatever you want to do. You just have to believe in it and be really specific about what you want. And I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah, you can do anything you want. I mean, really, you can. Uh, you know, the options are limitless. I think we have time for one more question. And because I'm being lazy, what's your question then? If you could play any TF, if you could voice any TF2 character that wasn't medic, <laughs> that's who would a it tough be? one. Uh, who would it be? Oh, and why? Maybe the I don't know. I mean, that would be all right for me. Uh, I think I voiced Spy. I did like a. I don't know what, what I was thinking, but I thought it'd be fun to do a live version of Meet the Medic, and I did it in my office, and I got a big giant teddy bear. And you know, I played the heavy, <laughs> and I did surgery. It was ridiculous. I was like, what was I thinking? But I got tons of people watching, and it was fun. Something fun for the fans. Well, the bad news is we're actually out of time. Oh, I, I, I. Hi, on. Terrible. Well, at least you've learned some Geordie. Which Let's is some Geordie. Something. We've we've planted the seed for the Team Fortress 2 uh, convention in the future at MCM. Yep. Um, I, I just want to thank everybody for coming to my talk yesterday, today, coming to my table, uh, for all the love you guys have given me. And, Woo! you know, I'm just very lucky to be doing this and to get all this great feedback. So, well, thank we you. appreciate it so much. And thank you for joining us. And hopefully we'll see you again. In the future. Okay, thank and you. And good luck on the future projects as well that you can't tell us about. Yeah, yeah, yeah all right. Let's hear it for Robin. Thank you.